Alrighty, and now we're into part two of the uh, of the video regarding um, licensing music, and now we're looking at my iTunes folder. Now, iTunes is used as a very simple way to embed metadata. All right, you can add these descriptions into the songs. Uh, let's t let's just take a one of these here and look at the look at the metadata song info. Okay, so the song the song info shows the name of the song, of course, but all these others are blank right now. All right, so we're going to add in the artist name which is me. Okay. We're going to add in the album name, uh, which is Jewish Songs Volume 1. Okay. Uh, we don't need the album artist. We don't really need the composer, but I'm going to add it anyway. Uh, let's see. We don't need a grouping. We do need a genre. Now, this is where I often have a trouble with this whole thing. Because how, how do you... Now, you can make up your own genre, obviously. I'm just going to call it world. Okay, for now. We don't need a year. We don't need a track number or disc number on this. Uh, we don't need compilation. They do like to add in beats per minute because apparently the music supervisors like to know an approximate tempo. Okay. Uh, the truth is, I don't know the beats per minute right now. Now comes the tricky part, the comments. Okay, I had to pause for a second there. So you can see I've started to populate the comments down here. The, this is the most important part of the lesson. The comment, these words separated by a comma, these words are searchable words. Uh, in fact, every single one of these words are searchable words. So when somebody is looking for a song that is a celebration, a, a wedding, Fiddler on the Roof, uh, Klezmer, Jewish... Uh, maybe they know me by name. Nobody knows me by my name. What am I saying? <laughs> they might be saying world music. Any kind of thing like that. Even the, the beats per minute they might look up. And all those, all those things are possible ways or reasons why they found your song. Okay, so you want to put in a whole bunch of words in there. This is not enough yet. Um, the iTunes will accept up to 256 characters in this particular box and you can see I don't even have a hundred yet so I'm gonna add even more to this alright there we go so I have filled up the entire box uh, with exactly 256 characters uh, just coincidentally <laughs> it worked out so I added in some extra things and when they search for these things, they're looking for the mood and the location or maybe uh, what's going on in the scene. And so you're just trying to make this easy to find. Uh, energetic, fun, drinking, dancing, tent, village, classic, uh, Russian, Russian, Middle East, Israel, uh, things like that. All right, so that's how you populate these, uh, this field. All right, this particular song is giving me a challenge on the beats per minute here. It, this particular song speeds up. <laughs> it starts slow. It's a horror. It's like a horror dance. So it starts slow, probably around 90 beats per minute. And then eventually, I believe it gets up to 160 at the end, maybe faster. Um, so... What uh, Michael suggested was just find some kind of an average tempo or something that would be 
um, close to what people are thinking about when they think of a lively uh, dance that speeds up. Because you can't write in all those words in here. I kind of write them in here in the description. I wrote uh, speeds up. I wrote accelerate. Anyway, so I'm just going to make 140, which is yeah, kind of in the middle. And there you go. Now, so when I'm done with this, oh, and then you can also add in, uh, and you should add in artwork, a photo. Now, what I'm not going to show you is I'm going to copy those that field, and I'm going to insert it to every single one, copy and paste to every one of these tracks with the name Klezmer Dance, because the description and everything that I just wrote down, it applies to all of the versions of that song. All right? And then, of course, you have to repeat this for every single song. There you go.